Another familiar face with us as the trainer of the year in Canada, Casey Coleman, uh, nominated Casey for five consecutive years and uh, taking home tonight your third consecutive O'Brien Award and an historic year this year. The first time ever two females uh, were nominated as finalists, uh, yourself against Tracy Brainerd. Uh, maybe just talk about, about this year in particular. Uh, she had an incredible campaign. She won a lot of stakes races all over North America and to win over uh, that kind of a year has to be extra special. Yeah, she, she had a very very, very good year. Let's say she made 10 million in purses and win pretty much uh, a whole. There's a ton of stakes races yeah. she wins, so a, a whole bunch of them. But so uh, we got lucky and ended up getting the the win and came through good. In terms of your own operation, it's kind of evolved uh, since you got started here in Ontario. You started off with uh, condition horses, uh, condition horses claimers. Um, now we're seeing you more with stakes horses, and this year in particular, horses like Sports Rider. Um, you know what what. Uh, did that mean to your operation to have home run horses like that in your care? It's been unreal. I started at the bottom. I started racing horses at Flambro, $4,500 claimers, and now uh, then I had a high, powerful claimant stable and some open horses at Woodbine, and then uh, the claimers just kind of fell apart. They weren't racing no more claimers, and I had to get out of the business or get babies, and we end up getting babies, and so far it's been great. I, uh, I really enjoy it. Uh, on a personal level, a few years back, you had a, an, an almost life-threatening um, experience w uh, back in your native uh, British Columbia. This year, you had a chance to go back and, and give a little bit back to, uh, to the hospital there and the racing community. How special was that for you? It was absolutely awesome. Uh, I, we got to go back and we raised about $23,000 is about what I was told that we raised. And to go back home, it's the first time I've been home since I left. And it, it was awesome to be able to raise that money for the Victoria Burn unit to see the old race fans at uh, Fraser Downs. And uh, it was it was something special. I'd love to I'd go back anytime if I was invited again. All right. And uh, this year you had uh, the O'Brien Award winner, sports writer, two-year-old Colt of the Year, and a finalist for Horse of the Year as well. Give us an update on how the big horse is doing and uh, what you expect of him in 2010. I couldn't be any happier the way he looks right now. I brought him back in, I'm going to say about three weeks ago or so, and I'm just jogging him. I just started four miles. Um, he looks absolutely awesome. I couldn't be any happier. He filled out, got longer. He, I'm going to say his hobbles are going to be about two inches longer once we, I haven't put them on him yet, but once we do, and uh, looking forward to a big year. So fingers crossed. All right. Uh, we're looking forward to seeing him back on the track, Casey. Congratulations. Thank you. Casey uh, Coleman, her third O'Brien Award title as Canada. As trainer of the year.